America's love affair with McDonald's started in 1955, and it's never stopped. Coffee has always been among the most popular items on the McDonald's menu, so when McDonald's decided to reformulate its coffee, it turned to the experts for help. That's where Gavinia comes in. Gavinia makes the Don Francisco coffee brand and has been a McDonald's supplier for more than 25 years. A couple of years ago, in 2005, we wanted to elevate our premium drip coffee. And so Gavinia partnered with us in developing a bolder tasting product that we implemented in 2005. The overwhelming success of McDonald's premium roast drip coffee led to the development of McDonald's McCafe espresso-based beverages, which were introduced nationwide in May of 2009. We knew that our customers wanted a, a great quality product for a great price and at a great convenience. And uh, McDonald's offers that, so it, was, it just seemed like a natural evolution of our premium roast coffee to an espresso-based coffee. Gavinia was right at the table with us as we partnered together to determine what that line of products would look like. The McDonald's Gavinia partnership goes back many years. We first partnered with McDonald's in 1983. Uh, at that time, McDonald's was looking for regional suppliers. Gavinia initially supplied coffee to 10 restaurants in Southern California and now serves more than 3,000 stores throughout the Western United States. The foundation of that partnership is trust, integrity, and the highest levels of execution, and Gavinia falls under all of those values. We being a minority-owned company, it tells us that McDonald's it puts a lot of attention in diversifying their business, giving an opportunity to a smaller group of people like we are, and being able to demonstrate how good we can perform. So it gives us a very good feeling to be part of that. Gavinia is a family-owned business that traces its history back to the 1800s. Well, my uh, grandfather started growing coffee back in the 1870 era. And uh, my father was born actually on our coffee plantation in 1903. And then we were coffee growers and coffee roasters in Cuba before we immigrated to uh, the United States. My father taught me the art of roasting coffee. And now, the same way he taught me, I'm teaching my son. My son Michael is part of the fourth generation of Gavinias in the coffee business. My dad's one of the smartest people I know. I always look up to him. I try to take as much opportunity as I can to learn from him. He's one of the greatest coffee resources, I think, alive. And there's just a select few people that know that much about coffee and have a passion for it. He really does, I and mean, that's what it's about. I try to take as much time to, to just sit down and talk coffee with them and learn it and grow from it. Our family knows coffee. We have been involved in coffee most of our lives. It's something that we have in our blood. It's something that we cherish. And it's our pride, it's our work, it's our roots. That's what we are. Once you have your name and your product, you know, it better be good. Otherwise, we wouldn't sell it. Gavinia blends and roasts coffee for McDonald's in its ultra-modern facility in Vernon, California, which uses the most technologically advanced automation to ensure that McDonald's proprietary blend is made to exacting standards. McDonald's and Gavinia work together to ensure a safe and high-quality product is served every time by employing rigorous food safety standards far in excess of industry requirements. McDonald's uses only fully ripened Arabica coffee beans harvested by hand in the warm climates of Central and South America as well as the mountainous regions of Indonesia to deliver great tasting high quality coffee. We want to make sure we're providing McDonald's with the best coffee available. We're doing that already by sourcing it out of the best producing countries by picking the best beans available by roasting it to perfection. Gavinia has become one of the world's largest and best coffee producers by ensuring the traceability, sustainability, and consistency of its product. 
When you talk about traceability, we want to know where the coffee came from. We want to know what it was processed. We want to be able to tell that that coffee hasn't been tampered with all the way from the farm to the roasting plant to the actual cup that the consumer is going to drink. To achieve that, we try to implement in place different procedures, starting with knowing where the coffee was processed at the origin. And then it's followed through all the way from the steam chip company to our factory, to the McDonald's warehouse, to the actual date that the coffee was sold in the restaurant. We can tell very close by the numbers that shows in the back how far back we can go as far as the processing plant in the origin country. Sustainability is very important to us because it, it means that the farmers are going to be around for a long time. It means that the land is going to be there for a long time in good condition, capable of producing coffee. Consistency is probably the most important part of almost any product, but certainly on coffee. If customers find it different, they're going to find it bad. So what we make here is very sure that the product repeats over and over again by quality controls that we have in place. Gavinia has five cuppers, professional coffee tasters who sample the McDonald's blend at least twice a day for consistency and quality. All Gavinia cuppers have undergone the rigorous training needed to earn certification by the Specialty Coffee Association of America, the world's largest coffee trade association. We're working very hard on developing consistency in the way it is processed and the way it's done so we can achieve the best cup of coffee for the consumer. We love the coffee from growing it to processing it to drinking it. So that's why the quality is there. Serving an espresso-based beverage is an enormous step for McDonald's and the most significant product launch since the introduction of breakfast more than 30 years ago. So knowing that, that our customers were not used to coming to McDonald's for a cappuccino or a latte or a mocha or espresso based coffee, we knew that it was very important to execute this product at the highest level or what we call our gold standard level. Part of that was educating our crew and our restaurant managers and understanding the art that goes behind uh, delivering a great espresso, espresso based product. When people tell me that uh McDonald's can sell high quality products. I say you're very wrong because being a supplier to McDonald's, understanding the industry that I mean, the way they, I understand it, you can tell that they're buying the highest product available uh, and they're really spending a lot of time and effort in the equipment and in the human part of it to make sure that we are de delivering the highest product to the people. We look at uh, back and think of my grandparents and my dad and think of my mother and think about it saying, how would they feel about us being a supplier to McDonald's? I think they would be very, very proud to be able to be a supplier to a customer, a first class customer like McDonald's. 